Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. You join us once more in the map editor, in the cartographer, where we are creating this island loosely based on Jurassic Park. And it is big. It is unfeasibly, unconscionably, it's very big. Oh boy. So I was thinking about this earlier in the week. Um, in fact, I did try and do a recording earlier in the week and things happened. Bad things happened. Uh, the computer has been very unstable of late. So uh, I added some more RAM to it and it's now got a ton of RAM for video editing and stuff. It's basically a video editing machine. That's what it was built for. Gaming, it handles beautifully because, well, video is kind of a... <laughs> Uh, uh, a big old heavy thing to be uh, working with. Um, and I also updated the graphics drivers. Well, then it becomes super unstable. So I was uh, I was doing a video, I was talking to you guys, and then boop, stopped working. And I was like, oh no. Oh. So I've been running diagnostics and doing other things to try and work out what the problem is. And I still don't know. So hopefully we'll get all the way through and uh, fire won't erupt from the machine. Good. All of that you didn't really need to know. You didn't come here to know that. You came here to know about the island and what we're going to be doing this episode. We are not that far from finishing this thing off. We need to do a foliage pass. We need to go to places like this and we need to add foliage and rocks and various bits and pieces. We also need to add an item, uh, do an item pass. That is, add all the items that players will find on the island, like rocks. And I was going to say tarps, but you know what? Tarps are being removed from the game in favor of cloth. So maybe bits of cloth. Um, and we're going to have to add some more medicinal plants. Now, all the plants that we've added so far, they are all part of vignettes. It looks like a, a richly uh, covered and forested island. It is, but it's not as good as it could be because we haven't added absolutely everything that needs to be added. We've just been working on the little um, the little areas, uh, one piece at a time, like this piece over here with the steps, um, like the forest area with the sky, uh, with the catwalk. But, you know, we could do so much more. We could do a lot more with this. And then we need to do an animal pass. So we need to put the animals in, the crabs, the snaky boys, the boars, and of course the sharks. Now, now, there is one more structural element that I would like to work on before we do all that. One more. I promise, just one. One little, little tiny thing, you see, in my mind. And then the best way to make an island is to is work on it a little bit and then just kind of, uh, kind of leave it for a bit and then come back to it. So in my mind, this area in the south of the island, where all the sand is, is huge. It's not. It's about one-fifth of the island. Over half of the island is taken up with these two hills, which we have done a lot of work on. This hill is a little bit more barren than the other one because, well, that's a deliberate design choice. We might throw some more plants in during the foliage pass, but, 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 it's mostly there for building and standing on top of and looking pretty. This one is way more detailed, but you can't really build a house there. There's too many trees and things in the way. And that's good. I like putting stuff in the way, but in my mind, this area is kind of barren and empty. And then, and then I sort of come along here and look and say, actually, no, it serves a purpose. It is a different biome if this was Minecraft. It is not uninteresting. However, there are some problems. Once a player has explored the island, they're unlikely to come out here. Really? Unless they're looking for something. And I'm like, mm, okay, so what would bring a player to this part of the island? Because we can understand why players would be over here. They would be building houses here. They would be um, picking up resources from here, maybe. Do we have any yuccas here? Uh, well, wherever yuccas are, any, any regrowable resources, that's where a player is going to be. Um, so we've got things to walk on, things to look out of. Uh, this area here is kind of taken up, kind of the flat, sort of dedicated area that we reserved for farms and farming. It's got some interesting things uh, associated with it, but, 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 you know, um, is one of the few flat places on the island. Everything is a bit lumpy bumpy. Here, nothing. Once you've come and explored the tunnel, boop, boop the tunnel, uh, once you've sort of walked over the top and everything, you have no real reason to come back. So we're going to need to put some yakas and stuff here. The other thing is, 
Well, if we go back up, and I know we're going up and down, we're kind of touring the island a lot. We've done so much, but there's there's a few little things just to kind of tweak it, tune it, like a car engine. Um, so yeah, we've got offshore things in the south, offshore things, little hills on the top. We've got an interesting beach uh, top left, which is the ones with the angled groins. We have the harbour area with the sunken boat. We have the little fractured beach. We have the main sort of big wide beach at the top and we have the river that comes down. And the main problem with the south of the island, this, this area here, is that if we turn the terrain off, click on the clock, a clock, cog, click on the cog. Oh no, we need to do this by looking up the sky, don't we? We know this one. So we hit her display on and off. Okay. Because otherwise the shadows get beans and it's very hard to know what we're looking at. We hit objects, we get rid of the big blue brush as well. So if we look, there's not a lot here, just here, right in the center of the camera. There's just something missing. There's something in all the rest of the island. We've got a big old sunken wreck right here next to the quayside, right here. We've got the farming area with a little jumping thing that you can jump to and sort of peer into the abyss or the abyss appears, peers into you. We've got wrecks and we've got wrecks with LOD problems in the editor itself. We've got the, the angled grinds. We've got other wrecks with rocks. We've got the big, flat, wide open beach, which is really nice. We've got offshore islands. We've got not so offshore islands, little paddling pools to play in. And then we've got kind of this bit. Here's the abyss. So we've got the boat right next to the abyss. This, I told you the island was big. And then we kind of got nothing. And it bothers me. It tasks me, and I shall have it. Um, I, you know, a thumbs up to anyone who gets that reference. That that one little reference in the, in the comments. Post a comment, and I will I will personally thumbs it up. Um, good. Ah, <sighs> oh, you can stop and rewind. By the way, that's good. Um, <laughs> everyone's like, no, I missed it. Ah, I will never hear it again. Whatever, it's fine. So, what we're gonna do? I was going to build a rock pier. Wait, what? You've already built groins? Yeah, I want to, I want to, uh, like a break, like a breakwater. And, um, the other side of this kind of, uh, river inlet, the little delta inlet. And I think we should have it here. We should use rocks. All right. How do you know this is going to work? Because I've already recorded this and then the recording got beans and then I was very sad. And now we're doing it. We're doing it again. We're doing it live. Ah, okay. Right. Oh, I should probably say for the people who are coming back or watching this, um, if you haven't watched all the other, other episodes, definitely give them a little watch. That'd be nice. Um, but if you're not going to do that, uh, we are controlling this using W, S, A, D. We're using Q to go down, E to go up. We're holding the right mouse button. We're panning around. We, because, uh, you know, that's, that's how you see maneuver. Ooh, hey, it's very much like a pers first person shooter. Um, we are using, when we click on an object, from the objects tab, uh, pull it from the bin. Um, you get R to rotate, T, uh, bleh, T to transform, and if you don't know where it is, boop, F to focus. Oh, and the C to clone. Boom, C is cloning. And you can press delete on the keyboard, and then have you still have to click, yes, but yeah, there we go. There we go. Did you get all of that? I hope you did. It was fast, it was to the point. And we're gonna click on the car, we're gonna click on display ocean. What is going on? Why are you putting rocks in the sea? You're a madman. Hashtag ruined. I know, right? I am all manner of naughty boy. Nasty boy. No, I, I know what I'm doing, sort of. So you've seen this. You've seen. This. You've been there. You've been to the... Well, I don't know. Has everyone been to the coast? I'm assuming everyone who is watching this, and I'm going to say it's probably not a lot of people, but it's an exclusive club, and you're part of that very exclusive club. Actually, no, yeah, no. I'm, I'm quite happy to do this for, for just a handful of people. Um, genuinely, it kind of makes it more intimate. Hi. I was going to say, what are you wearing? But I'll start. I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt, like I always do. Um, yeah, there's this kind of, if you've never been to the sea, you might not know why people pile a bunch of rocks out into the, in, into the water and make a pier. Um, it's a breakwater. It takes energy out of the water. So if you have a current that runs across the coast, 
Um, it stops it from it's kind, of, kind of wrecking havoc, uh, pushing sand around and pushing boats around. It just makes it easier to navigate uh, overall, and it also acts as a coastal defense. Why would you not use concrete? Because concrete can be broken. That's why. Nice. I think we've, we've covered everything so far. Woo, we are on fire. So we're just going to put this bad boy in. Like that. Because people might swim around. What about sharks? Uh, they'll navigate around it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm walking here. Huh. Oh. That, that was Midnight Cowboy. Was that Midnight Cowboy? Was, was that was Dustin Hoffman in that? Because I think they, they filmed it in Manhattan as an open set. And if you don't know, uh, the reason that a lot of films are filmed in Manhattan is because you don't have to pay for a license to film in Manhattan. It's like a tax thing. It's like, wait, why, why, why would you do that? Well, if you go to London, you have to pay for a license to film in London. Otherwise, the cops pull you over. And they're like, oh, you got license to film here. And if you don't, um, they take out their truncheons and they smack you with it. Just upside the head. It's kind of unpleasant. You know, not something you really want. Um, so what we're doing is we're making Rocky Rocks, Rocky Rock Boys. And we're going to make them deliberately lumpy bumpy because the top of um, a, uh, a breakwater is typically kind of not pleasant. In terms of, it's kind of, yeah, it's all manner of Rocky Boys. Um, to sort of grab hold of these is going to be a little tricksy to do this. Uh, we need to go down. We need to raise you up a bit. I don't want any gaps, but I need you to be up further than you are because the tolerance on this is going to be very, very, very close. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to press R to rotate. So yeah, a lot of films happen to be set in Manhattan because oh, it's just cheaper to do it there. Yeah, actually, Hollywood was never originally the uh, the center for make uh, movie making. It was New York, but I was it Edison had the rights to um, like movies and stuff, so you'd have to pay Edison. Uh, like license fees, and if you didn't, he sent the mob after you. Wait, Thomas Edison? Yeah, that same guy, same guy. So everyone went to Los Angeles. I knew what I was talking about. Los Angeles. I was talking to someone about Los Angeles the other day. It might have been Dad actually, about how the Los Angeles River was never, never big enough to actually uh, sustain the entire town. Um, and then they went, uh, they went north and they found a, uh, in the 1920s, they found, um, like a valley with a lake and it was lush and green and everything. So what they did is they just went and bought the water rights and the lush green valley is now completely desolate. There's nothing there. It's just like, oh, it's desert now. Uh, and I, I was like, oh, I, I wish I could remember. It's like you have a conversation and you just can't remember. Like, just key facts. It's like one little fact. Like, hmm, what, where was it? It turns out it was Owens, Owens Valley. So, you know, they just went out and bought the farm rights, I think, which gave them the water rights. And they were like, no, 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 we're just, just doing a little light farming on behalf of uh, the city. And then they went, right, this lot goes in an aqueduct. We're taking it away, boys. Taking it away. It's like, oh, no. If they've stolen our water, what do we do? Well, um, it's all legal. Sorry. Oh, beans. So yeah, that's Owens Valley. It was Owens Valley. So this is very different to every every anything else we've created so far because it's deliberately rough, rough and horrible and kind of. Uh, it's not designed. So um, these kind of breaks are not designed for people to be climbing all over. They are not, it's not in their function. Their function is stop the water from beansing everything up. Take energy out of the waves. Of course, I ain't going to do that because we haven't put any land inside it. These objects are in the sea. But here's a, here's a tibbity top trick. Tibbity top tip. They ain't going to stop anything rolling straight over them during a storm. Wait, what? What's the purpose of this then? 
<laughs> there's a storm and you're out on the very end of it. If it gets a bit stormy, um, it will get overrun with water. Ooh. So we're just we're just adding the boulders as if they've just been kind of roughly dropped in from the Arctic. Uh, I would say an Arctic. I mean, like, a, yeah, an Arctic articulated truck. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. People probably don't call them that elsewhere in the world. Uh, I suppose a semi. Semi. Is that? Is that what people would call it? No, it by. There's a big truck, like a nine ton truck. Don't know. I, I, I literally have no idea. It's a little too something in the day. A little too late in the day. A little too early in the day. I haven't had dinner yet. We'll just, we'll just say if it's, uh, so I'm just hitting C. Uh, I didn't want to hit C on that though. Boop. Delete it from the corner. Thank you. Uh, I want that selected. Then I hit C. Then I can move this. So a lot of these we're just cloning in. Cloning in. And the developers of the game are going, oh my word, there are too many objects, too many objects, object limit, item limit, we should, we should impose an item limit. And I'm like, yeah, boy, I got, I got all the RAM. I got infinite RAM. It's like Tron down there. It's, it's Tron in the little black box under the, under the table. Um, oh my word, I just realized some people might not realize that I'm talking about the 80s Tron and not the 90s remake, which is still very good. I did enjoy both films. Um, I know some people who don't enjoy either film. And I'm like, well, your opinion doesn't matter. It's a good thing you're not in charge of the country. And they're like, well, don't, don't be mad. Don't be, why are you mad, bro? Um, so yeah, we've, we've sort of put in some rocks in there. Okay. Yeah, I, item limit is very important in, um, in video games, depending on how the items are rendered. So what we're going to do, we've used, uh, so we used a lot of small rock three. Now we're going to put some small rock one in to give it variation and to make it slightly easier to um, navigate, question mark. No, we, we're, we're going to do this just to give it a little bit more um, mass or volume. There we go. And we can always push rocks into other rocks just to give it that like uh, just a little bit more Je ne sais quoi. Uh, bienvenue. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just give it a little more um, thickness, depth, variation, uh, texture. That was the word I was looking for. Now, when you think, oh, I just there's this word. I really want to use it right now, and I just I can't bring it to mind. What is going on? Am I am I just losing it? No, chances are you're not. Chances are you're fine. You just need to remember in context. So remembering things in context is very important, especially if you can assist it. Um, okay, so we've got some rocks, and then it goes a bit terrible towards the end. Oh, brilliant. That's uh, terrifying. Oh, thank you. Boop. Just going to go underwater a second, um, just to get some more rocky boys. So big rock. You are going to do some work. Because things down here are not bad, but they're not as good as they could be. Because it, it just kind of looks very narrow at the moment. I don't think we need you, actually. We need something here, just to give it some width towards the bottom. I'll do. And then maybe... So say maybe again there, but no, I, I kind of like the wall shape. I just don't want it to be so symmetrical and so... Um, I mean, it just, it just kind of looks a bit, this side's a bit better now. Okay. I think we could probably 360 that, pull it out because the, the texture was just too similar. Uh, that's not a gap down there. That's okay. So from up here now, if you're looking down, it's a little thing. Okay. It's a little thing. Now, when you're looking down, you can see the edge of the rock down there. So as, you, as you're sort of hopping and jumping across here, you can see the edge of the rock and it's a deeper level. So the, the, the I was going to say fog layer, but there isn't a fog layer in the um, editor. So as you're looking through the mesh, stuff deeper down is darker blue until you get to the seabed. Now, whether that will actually be visible once uh, all the coral and stuff has uh, been put in the game, um, actually in the, like the main game itself, I don't know. This side, 
way, way different. So if you're standing here, you get a clean look down straight onto the seabed. Again, it'll be covered in clock coral and things. Okay, cool. But as you can see, the water is lapping around these rocks. Oh, wait, that's kind of interesting. Wow, uh, sure. Yeah, it, it is. It means that it's not as safe as like a full pier or something like that. I'm just put this rock here at the end because otherwise this just kind of ends in the sand and it just kind of feels wrong. So I'm just going to put that there. It's kind of like the end of a paint uh, paintbrush stroke where you have just a little bit of like runoff or a little bit of dry brush going on. Um, so yeah, I just, I just wanted that there. And we're going to go down here. We're going to grab another couple of small rocks and just push them in just to get that sort of, uh, that pan started. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think it was okay the way it was, actually. All right. Yes, that's much better. Look at that. So if you want to go out here, you can. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And it, again, LOD means it just kind of vanishes. But once you're up here, you're having a little look around. What is this? And I'm going to have to do stuff with the terrain in a second. But before we do, that's not all. What? What? You, you what, didn't spend all that time on that thing just because that was all? No. No, no, no. Uh, I kind of wondered if we could use this. I don't know if we can. Ooh, no, I don't think we, I think we can do it that way. Boop, 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 That's the I'm Thinking song. It's a good song. <gasps> oh, look at that. Um, raise it up a bit. And then move it over. Okay, now we have some work to do. <laughs> Wait, you just put a pole at the end of that. Yeah, I did. But it's not, it, that's the superstructure of a boat. Yes, it is. Well, it's the mast of a boat if we're going to be um, pedantic about it. Um, uh, what? Yeah, I have to keep clicking on it because every time I let go, it selects like a different. There we go. <sighs> Hello. This is a problem. Terrain, rays. Uh, nope, that's set height. Raise, um, actually we could set height. It wouldn't be a terrible thing to set height. Oh, let's do it. Do it. Set height. Okay, so the way this works, I'm going to turn the ocean. Oh, we need to look at the sky, don't we? Ocean on, ocean off. Okay, good. Are you following so far? What has happened? Why, what is this? What's going on? I don't even. Okay, we're using the master's decoration. All we want is the mast. Okay, good. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit read terrain paint height, which is the middle one. I'm going to boop up here. We're going to change that brush down because it's way too big for our needs. Now that we've set it, we're going to check the amount, slide our eyeball it because that is inherited between all the objects. Um, and we're going to raise that up and then we're going to smooth it off. Boop, 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 boop. See, that matte slider didn't move. We selected a different brush. If you don't, if you don't keep an eye on that amount slider, it will cause you problems. So we're going to raise this up. And then we're going to smooth it up. We're going to raise it up and smooth it up and raise it up and smooth it up. And up until a point that everyone's going to be like, why do I, why do I don't want it to be raised up? Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick another here. And we're going to raise this up. All around the boat, all around the watchtower, all around the boat, um, all around my hat. Uh, <laughs> that's Steely Dan, Steely like Dan. I can't remember. Um, okay, I'm just going to hide that boat. Boat, be gone. We don't want you anymore. Uh, your purpose has been served. This doesn't mean we're going to need to click on objects. Click on this. Move this out here a bit. Um, Okay, this was a really rapid thing that we just put in last minute, wasn't it? It was just a little little thing that you can sort out and investigate. 
Okay, terrain. Hello. Uh, smooth. All right, crank it up. Brilliant. Maybe get the size a bit bigger. Fine, smooth it back. This is going to be a pain in the butt. I, or I'm going to, I'm telling you this for as, as a fact. It's going to be a pain in the butt because we need to uh, hide what is essentially a massive superstructure. Um, so we're going to hit and raise and lower. And then we're going to paint up from our, Oh, we've left the mount up. We didn't eyeball it. Why didn't you tell me? You were the chosen one. Okay, right. That's fine. So we'll do that. And then we'll... Uh, We'll just move this high ground back a bit, I guess. And we're going to have to keep doing it. It's okay on the sides, but the, the prow is now sticking out, um, which is a problem for us. Uh, let's crank the amount up. There we are. Really get it get it working. That's better. Actually, brush back here as well, because that beach has got a little fold in it. Don't like that. It's not good. Not good at all. Technically, we could leave a little bit of metalwork showing. It wouldn't be the end of the world because it would be covered in coral and things. Um, yeah, actually, that might not be a terrible thing. So we'll move that down. Uh, what do we got selected? We got the. Why, why are you not coming up? Why are you not come up? Why are you not come visit? Um, let's do that. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that showing there, to be honest. I'll leave it. There's a little, little, little surprise. What is this? Why is this here? Whatever. Uh, and we'll do raise and lower. Uh, we'll move the mount all the way down. Just do a little click there. Done. Done, Zocal Risen. I don't think it's too bad. We don't need to smooth too much because this is going to be underwater anyway. Good, 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 good. And excellent. We are going to just click on this. We're going to press rotate. R to rotate. We're going to rotate it. We're going to press T. We're going to bring it up a bit so we've got more of this structure out of the sand. Some of it in the sand. Very important because sand is not going to, not going to just be underneath something. It's going to be inside it. I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to. That's just crass. Um, I didn't even know what that joke would be. I, and brain hadn't even formed anything to go there. So we turn this ocean back on, and we do it in time for the sun to be masked by a cloud. Hello, game. That's just how the game works. Or is it? Or is the water just so deep? Bloop. Okay, so I was talking about a fog layer earlier. I was like, eh, there isn't a fog layer in the game. And I did I promise that I'd explain that? I don't think I did. Okay, so if we go up, up. What we're seeing here, the big blue thing with the uh, with the occasional white cap, is a water mesh it is um you can actually get them as plugins for unity uh you you get them and it's it generates this wave uh like all the little wavelets the big waves the little wavelets the, the white caps the reflections and everything um it, it's really good i mean in stranded deep it's one of the best oceans that i have seen it's brilliant um but when a player goes from above the water to under the water, boop. The water mesh doesn't really do anything because it's literally the surface of whatever you set your water layer as. When you when you transition from your your humanoid avatar, which is walking around uh, above the water to into the water, two things happen. Your avatar goes into the swimming animation, so it, it changes from walking animation to swimming. Um, and with that, it slows down and um, you, you, uh, you essentially have aircraft controls up, down, left, right. Um, but then the camera, what happens in front of the camera is you get the fog layer and that is the blue misty layer uh, that sits in front of you. So you can't really see that far into, you can't see into infinity because the fog layer stops that, which is really cool. It's what makes you feel like you're underwater. Um, the editor doesn't have that. It used to, but it doesn't have that currently, and I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I don't know if I miss it or not. I'm not sure. I think I did initially. It was kind of a shock not to see the fog layer there, and now not having it there, it might be. It'd be nice to have it as an option to toggle it on and off. Oh no, the sun's back after all that time. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have the option to toggle it on and off. That'd be kind of cool. 
So I kind of want to have some sand built up on one side of this. Now, I don't know whether to have it built up on this side. <gasps> oh, this side. It kind of makes more sense to have it on this side, I think. And then it kind of makes these un deep underwater rocks, rocks work. And now the sun's gone again. One of the things I would like in the editor is for the sun not to keep disappearing. Please come back. Um, yeah, so along with that is there is a slight, uh, well, there hasn't been an update in ages. I'm wondering how much the, uh, the issues with, um, oh, who are the, I keep forgetting the company name. They were Telltale, Telltale Publishing. I wonder, I keep, I wonder how, um, how the issues with Telltale Publishing and, oh, that is a big brush. Let's turn the water off for the time being. Oh yeah, very big brush. Um, is having an effect on Beam Team. Because there are only, as far as I know, it's two guys in Brisbane, in Australia, who are making this game. And if you've got legal issues with like a former would be, they didn't even publish the game. It was supposed to be for PS4, as far as I know, because uh, technically the game's already published on Steam. Um, but if you if you've got a problem with a publisher and your IP is suddenly bound up with that publisher, you got you got issue. So I'm guessing the boys have some real issues with that. Mm. Even though they they making the game and they own the game, if they release something and then somebody says, you know, you know what, um, the publisher's in liquidation and we we're selling off the assets and your game is listed as an asset. How much would they lose? Oh, that's actually not a good thing to think about. So this is switching back immediately to uh, what we're doing. Uh, this is basically a bigger version of the groins that we've made so far. Um, what I don't want is what's happening. I don't want like a, a drop just before the uh, the, the the ocean oh, the break. I'm, them shadows though, but I do want this to be sort of down a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to read from here, change the amount all the way down, almost all the way down. Just push this back a bit along here because I want water to be here. I want it to be wet. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, that is annoying. Shadows, uh, ocean on, ocean off. Shadows are now fixed. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was going to get. That's going to get. Not for anyone else, but for me. So the amount slider, eyeball it, it's down. Then we're just going to click and brush back along here. Brush back, brush back, brush back. It just makes it more real. It makes it more real. And I think that's what I like about this. Because you can, you can work and create sort of a more realistic terrain. Now, when I say realistic, what I don't want is this ridge here. I don't know if you can see it. Oop, there we go. Ridge. That's terrifying. Ridge. So we'll crank that all the way up. Brush that ridge away using the smooth tool. There we go. Better. Much better. So we'll probably do the same thing using the same strength tool. There we go. Good. If you turn the ocean on, it should. Hit an object so we don't have a brush. Okay, cool. So what we've got, and it's very hard to see. Uh, because the water is, now uh, there we go, deeper, much deeper on one side of this than it is on the other. Like, boom, we're talking about very deep uh, on this side. It's, I mean, we've lost a lot of height in terms of, well, a lot of depth, I guess. Uh, it's shallower on this side. Boom. But look, we now have a, a breakwater that is doing job. I mean, the sand is obviously being swept out of this uh, inland stream out into the delta. It is kind of being kept in here by the breakwater. And in this side, no breakwater and the sand, it just drops. It keeps dropping. It keeps dropping. Boom. And it's very deep there. And it's like, whoa, that is cold, cold ocean. And if you go too far this way, wah! The abyss. I don't know, I'm not controlling. Oh, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, the, the camera speed is 
not something we control. It's it slows down when you get too close to an object, but it never seems to. Oh, there we go. It never seems to do it with rhyme or reason. It's just like now we're going infinitely slow. Oh, now we speed up. Hmm. Okay. Good. So it's another fun little thing to uh, to come and explore on the island. So like, wow, that's now a fun little thing. It does it uh, impact uh, sharks and things. No, shouldn't do. The sharks will swim around it. Um, does it stop you landing a raft? No. In fact, if you know, if this is your island and you're, you're coming towards it with your raft, you know that that, that upright is something uh, you can use for guidance to get a raft into the river. Do you need to hit the river directly? No, you can just land it anywhere around here. It's pretty, pretty safe and secure. But it's just another little bit of human uh, human intervention, human um, like what am I trying to think of? As again, it's it, it, there's, a, there's a word um, human development of the land, human interaction with the land. Hmm, a human construct. It's a human construct on this beautiful, almost all natural island, peppered with labs and houses and a bunch of different things so yeah it's just another fun thing to explore um there is just one last thing i would like to do while we're here and that is the tides we can forget about the tides so if we click on here display ocean here we've got the time slider so this so that is low tide there and that's good because these rocks are the, the base rocks are a little bit more exposed. There's uh, there's a more more rocky rock there to sort of jump around on. That's fine. Where's high tide then? Is that about high tide? No, it's kind of hard to see because the light's different. Um, but yeah, the water's just about touching in places uh, either side of these rocks oh yeah in some places it actually you would actually get wet feet there we go see, see? so high tide you're, you're likely to get wet feet if you're standing on here so sometimes there is actually a bigger than a normal wave um, yeah I'm actually happy with that you might think well mm, does it make it a bit dodge no uh, if you want to go out here and shoot sharks, fine, but you're going to get wet feet while you're doing it. Um, or you'll be completely okay and dry. That is so cool. So cool. And of course, you've got the mast at the end. But what's underneath that's making that mast? Well, we all know. Good. Excellent, 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 excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, that was amazing and I would like to see more, subscribe me for all of the things. Um, definitely, definitely leave a little subscribe, leave a like. And you know what? I'll catch you next time. <laughs>